Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Wilanda. You guys know I travel quite a bit and I literally have been loving these two bags um, for traveling. I do have them in two different sizes, and it is the Marc Jacob tote bags. And this is basically like an overview, my review, my thoughts on this bag. I do have two different types of the same bag. I have a small version and a large version. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the small version since this is the first one that I picked up and it looks like this i absolutely love these bags because they're so spacious and they're just so durable for traveling you guys know when it comes to traveling you want things that are durable and you want things that are stylish as well but things that actually are useful i don't like traveling with a whole bunch of useless things because your girl just don't have the space for it i did pick this up off of Farfetch, but I just checked on Marc Jacob website. They do not have this available on their website. They have other versions of it. This one I picked up last year, um, 2020. It said July, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Yeah. So I thought it would have been a very good bag for me to have. I don't know where I've seen the bag from, but I've seen it. I liked it. I bought it. And ever since then, I've been using it. This one is the canvas material what material is this this is like the jacquard version jacquard yeah why i picked this one up i like the lat lighter color of this one also writing on here wasn't as noticeable the bag has the black emblem right here and then it has the leather trimming which i really like as well it's just very simple and understated this is full of dust bags at the moment but it's really just a big empty bag it has pots in there it's very very convenient i really really love using this one so this is a small version they have many small do they have a medium i don't know if they have a medium but i know they have a large and i really really love this one because it sits right on top of my carry-on and when it comes to traveling i literally don't like to have too many bags on me i don't like have like to have too many things going on i really like to have my hands free of anything even when it comes to holding my boarding pass i literally just slip it right into here i don't like holding anything because i don't want to accidentally put my boarding pass or my passport or my phone down somewhere and forget it and walk away because you know you're not going to get your stuff back you're not going to find it so i always always keep my hands free of anything and just like to put anything that I have right into my bag. So I like how convenient it is. I could just zip open, put my stuff in, zip it, and it's protected. I thought about getting the Dior tote. I thought about getting that to travel, but I had to be very realistic with myself. One, it's an open bag. So going through the airport, I will be very anxious. Anxious is a word. I would be very concerned with all my stuff, all my personal stuff is just out in the open. And also when you are putting those type of bags that are not zipped closed or button closed, when you are putting them on the conveyor belt to go through security, the bag just falls over. And I don't want to be that girl that is always trying to put her lipsticks and her lotions and anything personal like back into the bag why that's that's just too much and that bag is very expensive for me just to be not satisfied with it for it to be open like that also it's too structured for me i love a structured bag like all of these bags well this is not real it's structured but it's not structured if that makes any sense it's structured but soft whereas anything i put in there it's just malleable it could expand and make more room but also like it could sit up on its own as well where the dior bag to me not to me it is very hard and just is no if i want to put it under the seat i probably can't i would probably have to only put it overhead it just didn't seem very travel friendly like reasonable it does come with a long shoulder strap which is probably like dig deep, but yeah, that is detachable. I think the first place I went with it was to Tulum back in 
August 2020. It was like on the beach with me. I had sand in it. If I didn't want to leave anything in the room, anything personal, I could just put it in here and it's not that big. So I could literally just walk anywhere with it. I feel as though this is a very, very great affordable bag. According to Farfetch, I, it was for $2.50 when I purchased it. Um, right now I see the mini version of the new one, the Jacquard, is for 275 Actually, this was the one of the expensive ones at that time because it's like a, a limited edition or like a special collection of it where the other ones, the plain ones, I think were 175 at that time. So I got the 251 because I just love how it looked and I do not regret it at all. Now that I have the big one, the large one I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. This one is my domestic bag. So if I'm just hopping and skipping to the next state, then I will carry the small version and put it on my carry-on. And if I'm going international, then I carry the one I'm about to show you guys in a little bit. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen me show you guys how the large one look. You guys, I love it. This is the new baby. I am obsessed with the color. I am obsessed with the size. And I didn't even think I would like big bags. I'm not even a big bag girl. When I was out for the entire month of November and I was traveling with this, they bet the amount of stuff it carries in this bag is why I, I mean, I don't need to get another one and I, Wolanda, don't get another one. Don't get another one because it's pointless. This is literally my favorite travel bag. Ah, oh, I love it. You see this long zip? You see this? This is why I love this bag so much. It's structured, but look at it's covered. Like all of your stuff will not be seen and it carries a lot of stuff in here. So this is the large version of the tote bag and this is in the color argon guys i've seen on youtube like a lot of people got the mini version um i haven't seen anybody with the large version or a small version i don't know why because as soon as i seen this color i was like i'm getting in i'm getting the large i don't care i don't care and i don't even like large bags like that but when it comes to travel I have to have a large enough bag in order for me to have my laptop in there. Like the essentials for me on board has to fit into here. Everything, literally everything. So with this one, it carries everything and more. Honestly, I could just go with this if I want to do a domestic flight and I'll be good because my entire, entire, that's brushes and makeup and skincare, everything literally fits in here. I was so surprised and shocked on how much stuff it fits. It literally opens up and it does not even get heavy. So for this bag, which is a large version, I paid, I think 550 for it when it came out. Um, I bought it, let me see, I think I bought it August, September. Did I have this with me when, when I went for my birthday? So I think I bought this in either August or September. This is the leather version. So everything is leather except for the bottom of the lining on the inside is not leather. This is so good for travel. I'm telling you guys, if you guys are on a fence on what to get to travel that's durable and that is still stylish and that will hold literally your whole life, get the large version. And this one itself, it goes right on my carry-on as well so when i am doing longer flights like international flights this one and my carry-on and they're the same color i didn't even try to match it because i had the carry-on first and when i seen this one on a website i had to get it but they literally are the same color <laughs> that was not on purpose so it has the gold zipper gold finishing it's so soft it's so lightweight as well it fits right here. Look at that. So if I do end up putting my carry-on under the plane, then I just 
have this and I could literally walk up and down the airport and not feel like it's too heavy or it's doing the most. Very cute. I love, 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 love this bag. Oh my God. Like Mark Jacob, you did your thing with this tote bag. There's a situation where I had to take a whole bunch of things out of my luggage because it was overweight. So I literally put my makeup bag in here and I was totally fine. Um, when I wanted to go to the next country over, I was fine with just my hand carry on and this bag. So I really love the convenience of it. And I'm not the type of person to get the same thing in just different colors or sizes. I'm really not that type of person. That's how you can tell how much I love this bag because I have them in two different colors, two different sizes, same bag. So really, really would suggest you guys to go get it if you're looking for a very reasonable price prize travel bag that will hold all your stuff and you don't have to worry about it getting scratched up ruined any of that because it is very durable and it looks good it looks good so that's my little two cents with that being said if you are not subscribed to this channel go ahead and do so like comment all that good stuff make sure you follow me on instagram at imported underscore chocolate to see where i will be heading next on this le monde so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.